Hey, good to meet you all. My name is Lassi Nummi. I'm from Hatch Entertainment, very cloud gaming company from Finland. And today I'm going to talk to you about what we can bring to premium game developers. And just to get a brief overview, what is Hatch all about? Let's kick this off with a short video. So this is a Hatch. This is something that we have been working for a couple of years now back in our office in, in Espoo, Finland. So what we're trying to achieve here is something like Spotify or Netflix, but for mobile games. And how we have approached this problem is that we have built Hatch on three fundamental foundations. So first of all, we want to deliver instant gaming experience to users without need to download or install uh, individual game, games from app stores. Secondly, we want to deliver the best possible premium games to our users. Basically, we are open for all developers and uh, we want to focus on quality experience without the interruptions from in-app purchases or, or any other disturbing moments in your gameplay. And lastly, we want this to be super social. So we want this to be the platform where you can, you know, on real time challenge your friends, play any game you want together with your friend, compete against each other and, and challenge your friends. And this is something what we have already achieved and we have a um, a very nice feature called shared single player where you can actually any game session run on our service you can invite your friend and even though it's a single player game you can play it together with up to four friends and why we are building this at the moment we have four mega trends where we rely on and why we believe that timing is right for for cloud gaming first being the subscription economy as we can see the most grossing uh, non-gaming apps are from entertainment. So obviously we know Netflix, HBO, Spotify, Pandora, all these are based on subscription models. So you pay a monthly fee and you consume as much as you can. Um, mobile gaming is totally missing from, from this picture. Secondly, social gaming is becoming huge. We all know gaming is huge. We all know social gaming with rise of eSports and all is, is growing extremely rapidly. The global market will be very, very significant in a few years, and it's that already now. Then boring IT, cloud. But this is what makes it all possible. And for us, the, the kind of trend within the trend is cloud computing on the edge, which makes this all possible. So we try to bring the servers as close to the users as possible to have low latency and full gaming experience. And last but not least, the mobile broadband. As we know, 5G is just around the corner, a few years, and now we already see a significant rise on 4G, on data plans, like we are enjoying in the, in the Nordic countries, unlimited data plans, which makes it possible to consume any form of, of content without any limitations over your mobile internet. And still, if we look at our data, for example, today, we can see that 
most of the gaming sessions happen anyway over Wi-Fi, so the mobile, mobile broadband is not, not crucial in that sense, but it's still a very, very important term. And all that combined with how the global gaming market is, is increasing at the moment. It's, uh, we, we can estimate it to be something around $150 billion by 2024, oh, sorry, 22. And at the same time, the traditional gaming uh, side is seeing a bit of challenges on mobile, mobile gaming, especially what comes to high cost of user acquisition and uh, retention challenges. This is something what we especially have been suffering with over the <clears throat> few months in our, our organization. So, what we have done so far is the, we have built a technical foundation that we, how to make this work. This is something what we have spent a few years and we have uh, built in-house technology what allows low latency, low bandwidth solution offering native-like game experience. We can run any Android game on our service without large modifications. Of course, if you have enough purchases, if you have features like this, we need to rip them off because we offer uh, the full gaming experience to our customers without payment interruptions. But that's about it, what we need to modify. And how does the steaming performance work? It's actually pretty solid compared to the, some other um, major streaming platforms. If you compare it to HD video by Netflix, it's considerably less. It's even less than PlayStation Network streaming, so we can get into somewhere what you can see around in those slides. And one thing what is very, very important for all, all developers is that when you distribute your game via streaming technology, the APK is safe. It's, it's stored in our server, we run the game in our server, no APK is being delivered to the, um, to the end customer, and therefore the piracy issues are, are being tackled. So, over these few years, what we have been operating, we have already signed more than 300 titles. 100 of them are live now in, in service. The latest releases are, are from, from Sega and uh, from, from Square Enix. From, uh, there we go. So, from developer publisher side, we have more than 100 partners working with us at the moment. The interesting part of this is there is, a, there is a story that while we are now in beta in 18 European countries, we get constantly feedback from real users that who are you, why are you doing this, you are ripping off the developers. And <laughs> then we need to explain to these people that no, we have actually signed agreements with all the developers and they are getting paid for for you playing the game in our service. But so this is truly changing the industry in a way that, that the, it's also something where we need to educate the market, that this is actually, you can enjoy gaming the same way than you enjoy movies or music. And we have also got a pretty good coverage in the, in the media. We um, just, from beginning of the year, uh, we have been featured in MTV, in Stuff Magazine and, and in Engadget. I especially like the, the review of our user interface in the Engadget Magazine. So, let's talk money. How does this work? For consumers, we have two models. Now, we are free with ads. So basically, brand ads are being shown in our user interface when people are browsing through the game collection or selecting different, different kind of games and starting the games. At later stages, we will um, add paid subscription model. With a monthly subscription free, you will get access to, let's say, selected more exclusive game titles or some more selected features in the, in the platform. 
this is still to be decided and, and under, under development. And how do developers get money? Basically, we follow the same, same approach than any other um, or any app store. So our gross revenue comes from ads or subscriptions. Then we have certain hosting costs, costs what we need to take out from the revenue part. And then uh, developers get 70% based on the game minutes played of their titles, and Hatch keeps 30%. And we can support this uh, game minutes played by different kind of marketing activities, joint, uh, joint activities with game developers and publishers. We can, we can, um, you can, for instance, deep link directly into your content to enable more gameplay within your audience and, and these kind of activities. So. what we have been doing and where we are going. Uh, this started within Rovio, Finland, a few years back, 2015. And Hatch has been an independent company spun off from Rovio since 2016. And then already the first prototype has been, has been developed. And negotiations with the first partnerships. Last year, uh, the technical validation we were pretty confident that this is the way to go and this is how it works. And we already had 250 games signed at that point. And now in 2018, we have expanded our beta on Google Play in 18 European markets. You can see the flags, flags over there. I hope it adds up to 18. And uh, we are collecting now user feedback in order to optimize the user experience to improve the KPIs what we have in the service at the moment. And what comes later is to be decided when we, when we will move out from beta or when we will discuss about other, other platforms. And now calling out all developers, publishers to be part of the hatch. Why you should partner with us? I have selected three main points here. I mean, obviously, there are much, much more, but these are something that might be on your, your interest. First of all, we offer a new, totally new way to monetize your game. So this is, I dare to say that this would be maybe the first place where you will be getting revenue based on time spent on your game, purely based on that. No microtransactions, nothing like that. It's just we pay you if your game is being played in our service. Secondly, you can focus on gameplay and storytelling. I mean, what you love the most. I mean, you don't need to think about the economics. You don't need to think about, do I put a payment point here or there, or what do I do? You can just focus on, on great, great storyline, great, great game. And you don't need to worry about the APK size, because it's being streamed. So even though it's, it can be 10 gigabytes, it can be well, that's pretty big, but anyway, how big you want to be, it, <laughs> you, can, you can build it because it's not downloaded. So no limitations there. And then obviously, you're within good company. So we, we have a, a criteria. So we, we do, obviously, we are open for discussions for, with everyone, but we, we do want to have the, the best games. That's our, our value proposition for our audience. So rest assured that if you are in Hatch, you will be in, in good company. And then this audience and within our marketing and recommendation engines, we try to keep their attention as high as possible within Hatch to feed your gameplay minutes. And we see this as an incremental opportunity for growth. So this is not you can all of the game titles which are being published and in Hatch. They also have at the moment uh, their own packages in, in Google Play Store. So this is just an additional channel and not competing on on the on the same. But that's that's about it. A very short short way of putting this. And now, if there are any questions, I'm I'm free to to take them, and uh, my colleagues are here if you want to discuss more business. And all of your Android users, download it from, from Google Play. And uh, 
visit our website. Thank you, Lassi. And yeah, we can quickly go to the questions. Uh, was there a possibility to add multiplayer support in the game? Yes. Yes. So you can actually like play without a server like it? Yes. Okay. That's, that's the idea. That's how, how the shared single player already works. I mean, we are actually a bit... Oh, it's, it's secret, so no one will, will know. But it's, it's, we are kind of, I would wish, more multiplayer content, because we see a huge... We have done some piloting on that multiplayer, and that's very, very interesting. And I would love to see more multiplayer content in our platform. Any more questions? If not, I got one. How does it actually look like, how does promotion for individual developers within your app looks like? Because, I mean, everybody's then for the gameplay minutes, right? I mean, we yeah. know featuring slots on Google Play, and we know featuring slots on App Store, but how does it look with you guys? Well, basically, we, um, <laughs> at, at the moment, the honest answer is that we are very agile and we are very happy to promote all the new content that comes to our service. So, so usually our marketing, marketing department gets in touch with the, um, with the game developer who is about to come to the service, and then we, then we plan together how do we get the most out of the, uh, out of the launch. And then we are, we are currently building certain marketing automation functionalities to, to recommend across different titles in the, in the service. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Lassie. And yeah, if you still will be around until like, I think, until uh, 4 o'clock. Yeah, we will be here for, 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 for an hour and then he's so. catching the yeah. ferry back to Helsinki. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay.